Hey everybody, this is Guru Francis, Big Boy Screamador, and today's another Bayani Talk. Hey everybody, this is Guru Francis, Big Boy Screamador, and today's another episode of Bayani Talk. And today we're going to talk about coaching tips. But before I get into that, please don't forget to hit like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget that notification button so that you're alerted the next time a video drops. But to all the people that continuously support this channel, maraming maraming salamat, thank you. If it wasn't for you guys, I have no reason to be doing this except, you know, just because I'm bored. But no, I do this for all of you guys. Thank you so much for the continuous support. And just keep in mind that now that 2023 is starting, we're going to be doing a lot more events throughout, the, uh, throughout 2023. So stay tuned. So let's get right into this. Coaching tip. Okay. So one of the most important things that a lot of people have ignored is the importance of having a corner man. Now, in traditional boxing, a corner man is there from the moment you start training to the moment you stop with, until, the, the, until after the competition. Right? And that's the same thing with Filipino martial arts. Your coach, your, your corner man should be the guy who's been with every single one of your training. Now, in Filipino martial arts, I have multiple fighters. In Filipino martial arts, goes, I have multiple fighters, so it's impossible for me to be a coach, to, ev to be a corner man for every one of my fighters, especially if they're fighting at the same time. Um, so what is the solution? Well, I always, always encourage even those guys who are not competing to be there in the training so that they are aware of the type of fighter, the, the type of fighters that we have. Having a great coach or having a great corner man is so important because the, the helmet, you could only, this is the helmet that you could only see this much, right? And what you, what, and what a coach or corner, a great corner man can do is see the entire picture, see how much the body is moving, see how much your opponent's moving, and then how much you're doing, what you're doing. And of course, because it is, because your corner man has been with you since day one of your entire training, you, they know what you can and can't do as well and how much to push you. Now, I've had students that I know, I know had a lot, a little bit more left inside of them if they just dug deep and pulled it out. And I've had students where I know they're done. I had one of my students who just, just felt like she didn't have any more, any more to give. And I said, no, you, I know there's something more in there. You know, you need to let it all out now. Now, I had to be a little bit of a hard ass about it. <clears throat> But she came out victorious. And another student who was just done, like, you know, the eyes, are, the, you can see the white of his eyes and, the, you know, rolling the back of his head. So I had to stop that match as well. He couldn't, he couldn't finish. It, it's not a reflection on him, but we, it's something that we need to learn. So that's, a, so that's another reason why a corner man or a coach is really important. But most importantly, most importantly, because a coach is, is almost... I mean, I guess in a metaphorical sense, are in there in the ring with you, right? They know what you, what, how much work you put in it, how much time and sacrifice you put into it, and how much you really want to be a champion, how much you really want to win. And that the coach, your corner man, is, is all, it's, it's, again, metaphorically, is in the ring with you, right? Taking every hit, throwing every strike, and just as tired as you are. But then they also know that what you can and can't do and and most of the 99.9% .9 of the time it's just that the quitter inside of you is screaming louder and that's when the real coach comes out and says you need to scream louder and say no there's more inside of you time to let it out one of my most favorite scenes in Karate Kid was in Karate Kid 3 when Daniel Sun was ready to give up and Mr. Miyagi got down on the mat with him and said he said, it's okay to lose to opponent, but must not lose to fear. Oh, good Lord. Because the biggest opponent is not the guy in front of you. It's the quitter inside of you. And Mr. Miyagi understood that better than most. Now, I know he's a fictional character. But that's how I think. Uh, that's how every coach should be. Knowing enough about their fighter. That regardless of the, whether they, the guy in front of them wins or not. Is that, that they don't lose to the quitter inside of them. That's what a real corner man does. That's what a coach does. And that's my number one coaching tip. Do you guys agree? If you do or you don't, please comment down below. All I ask is that you keep it civil. Until then, please don't forget to hit like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget that notification button so that you're alerted the next time this video, another video drops or any event that's coming up. Until then, my name is Guru Francis. Peace out. God bless and keep swinging them sticks.